Today I fucked up by showing my dad porn on my phone. This happened about 10 minutes ago and I'm dying inside. To preface this, I am a 16 year old boy and I have two reddit accounts I switch between, one for porn and the other for normal stuff. I wanted to show my dad something on my phone. I was going to show him a reddit post with a bunch of soldiers from world war 2 since my grandfather fought in the war and one of the people looked kind of like him. Forgot about it a week ago and remembered it during my lunch break since I'm in online school. He was in a rush for a meeting, and I didn't want to forget about it again, so I pulled up reddit and went to my saved section and turned the phone to him. I was on the wrong account and it showed the last thing I had saved, which was a video of a chick getting spit roasted. He yelled and smacked my phone out of my hand and I was like what the hell? And then I looked at it and saw the porn. I'm currently writing this during my English class, and I have no idea how to approach my dad after this. TL doctor, I forgot to switch accounts on reddit when I was in a rush to show my dad something interesting. So instead of a picture from world war 2, I showed him porn. Update, a lot of people asked for one, so here it is. We haven't talked about it and he is acting like nothing happened. I guess it's just something that we are never going to bring up. I hope at least. Just deny the whole thing. Porn, what the hell are you talking about papa? So I think you have to talk to him about it. If he is super against the porn thing then all you can do is apologize. If he won't talk to you then you need to write to him and see how it goes. If he's cross he will need time to cool off. He is a guy after all so he should understand the need to beat the beast sometime, and he's obviously had some experience because you exist. Just try to be calm about it. You haven't broken the law. He could be just as embarrassed as you. Also show him the proper post you wanted to. Hope things go okay. Technically, he did break the law, since I think most places require you to be over 18. But, to end on a positive note, consider that your dad just didn't want your mom seeing you two bond over porn because then she would be mad at him too. I think a simple, hey, I'm really sorry about showing you that. I honestly didn't mean to and seeing what his response is might be the best solution. Hey dad check this out smiley face. Doesn't one of the guys look like grandpa? It must have been a pop-up. Are you winning s, oh lord. Today I fucked up while cutting the grass and causing the neighbors to call the police. As I said in a previous post, I let people know of a few of my other fuck ups over the years. For context. This was about 9 years ago now. Me and my wife had recently had our eldest son and only daughter. I was starting to mature as a person as much as I could and was doing basic dad shit. Cutting the grass, changing the light bulbs etc. And had got into a routine of cutting the grass every Saturday afternoon. This particular day while I was out, I noticed a weird ridge dip in the grass while mowing, and being curious in general, I did what everyone would do. Instantly go and grab a shovel and dig up the ridge leaving a hole in the garden. I found nothing and filled the hole back in and thought nothing of it. Told my wife that I thought we had found a sacred burial ground, treasure in the garden and she basically give me the stop being a fucking idiot look that she throws at me a lot. Thinking nothing of it, I go about my week as normal. Next week's mowing session is happening and I just can't help myself from digging it up again, only this time wider and deeper. In my infinite wisdom, I see one of my daughter's toys which is this Barbie style dolly toy. I bury it in the hole and cover it up. Weeks go by and I never touched the treasure hole in my yard. But 3 to 5 weeks later I'm out mowing the lawn and see another doll in the yard. This could be one of the several dogs chew toys from the neighbors or my daughter's toy. Frankly I didn't care, and I dig up the hole again and bury the toy. Next week, I dig the hole again, this time putting a broken plant pot and bits of wood etc. down there. This kinda behavior I'd been doing for about 3 to 4 weeks straight. This is where the fuck up happens. So there I am out mowing the lawn, when a cop pulls up outside my house. He asks me my details etc. And I expect there to have been some sort of criminal activity going on in the neighborhood but suddenly he asks me sir may I inspect your yard. Sure I reply. He starts gingerly stamping over the ground to find the hole. It's blatantly obvious where it is, 
as it's about a 3 feet diameter dirt ring in the middle of otherwise grass. He sees it after about a minute or so of looking around. He asks me what it is. I reply with though it's a burial ground officer and laugh. He tells me to be silent. Asks me to dig it up. I promptly grab my shovel and get to digging. After I've dug up the hole, the officer peered inside and then looked back at me looking bewildered. He asked me why I had been digging up my garden and burying random objects in it. I promptly told him I don't know. I thought it was funny and it was to annoy my wife as I told her it was an ancient burial ground. After explaining myself for about 20 to 30 minutes, the officer leaves after telling me to be careful what I'm doing etc, etc, and giving me a warning. So, this is where I found out what had happened. I continued to mow my lawn every weekend and dig up the hole to put more household objects into. All going to pay off in a prank on my wife telling her that it was all lost treasure, a burial ground and what could it all mean etc. Another three weeks later and again the police arrive. They ask me to step away from the house and did they mind if they searched the house etc. No problem I said. They searched the entire house for about maybe four to five hours. Sir, we've been having reports that you're burying people in your garden. I was utterly bewildered and didn't know what to say. I just said I've been burying household objects in the garden as a prank for my wife. They talked to me for another hour or so and got me to dig up the hole again to see what was in it and took it all as evidence. I never touched it again after that, however I had a strong urge to find who reported me and bury all of their prized possessions in that hole. TL Doctor, was pranking my wife telling her we had a treasure trove, ancient burial ground in the garden. Got reported for murder and burying my bodies in the yard. Gave you a warning for what? For laughing and joking around when he was being dead serious. For I was fairly certain it was a joke at first. I was to say the least, flabbergasted. It also looked suspicious because I technically could have been burying babies due to burying a few dolls. My money is on your wife playing her own prank. You know what? All this time, I had never thought of that lol. I could have been arrested though, so I guess good on her. She deserves better, as I am in fact a total fucking moron. Giving me a warning. For what? As far as I can see you can dig up your lawn as much as you fucking want. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Stop letting the police search your house. Stop talking to the police. Your lawyer should pay to have someone guard you from yourself. Nothing you say can help you. Everything you say can be used against you. You now have a report on file that can be referenced later if you do commit a crime, even accidentally. What weird neighbors and police. Sounds like some fresh American suburban hell. Today I fucked up by laughing at a kid falling over. This happened like 10 years ago in my mid-teens but I'd creeding some of the posts on here made me remember it and I still kinda laugh slash cringe at it. I had just turned up to tryouts for one of my local Sunday football teams, soccer for those that say that. It was a Saturday morning at a football club so naturally there is gonna be a lot of kids running around being kids. A group of adults is huddled around the edge of the car park talking before things Things got going when a kid probably about 5 years old runs and bumps into the side of one of said adults and goes rolling like the little kid in that wee bowling meme. I couldn't hold in my laugh it was too quick, not like some sick sadistic cackle but some sort of autopilot giggle but I was the only one to do it out of everyone there and to make matters worse turns out to be the manager of the team's kid who instantly rounds around to me and goes what? You think that's funny do you? Me in instant panic mode not knowing what to do just replies no, but I say it like I didn't just blatantly laugh out loud and he's an asshole for even suggesting it. In the end he just glares at me and sees to his kid before rounding us all up to start tryouts. I awkwardly fall in with the others my brain telling me I've not got a chance here without being a clear standout but my dumb pride took me all the way through the tryouts anyways. Too long didn't read, laughed at the coach's kid getting wiped out, didn't make team. TL drive. A. I'd understand if you kept laughing and didn't bother to hide it but since you stopped yourself I think the dad just took it farther than necessary. I mean I get it the guy felt embarrassed for his kid I guess. It was only grassroots stuff and I was never the next messy but I was definitely better than some of the guys that did make the cut. It didn't really matter anyway the team I did end up joining finished above them and we done the double over them too. 
lmao. Funny, did you not see it sir? I could watch kids fall over all day and always laugh.